But now there's the warmest of welcomes awaiting us at Val Dunigan's Christmas party. It's Christmas time, so let us sing With every friend a song to bring Let's celebrate this joyful day So come inside, I bid you stay Sing songs and let us be merry and bright Let us be merry and bright Welcome, friends, join our party tonight Wishing you a Merry Christmas Soon I'm gonna be dancing now In the arms of the one I love Hush a while and listen to Christmas carol just for you, a musical Christmas card, a musical Christmas Make sure that you all know that there's gonna be a party and I'd love for you to go. Yes, I just thought I'd give you time to get your story right. Cause there's gonna be this party and it could last all night. We're gonna have a party. A good time jamboree. We're gonna have a party. So come on along with me cause we're gonna have a good time. With everybody feeling right, we're gonna have a party this Christmas Saturday night. There's gonna be some music, and we can sing along. I bet before the night is through, they play your favorite song. And when they play that slow dance, and I'm holding you so tight, that's when the party started. Those shoes. Sounds like another weekend for you. Yeah, take it from me to wait and see that everything's gonna be right, cause there's gonna be a party. Christmas Saturday. Thank you very much. Well, we're having a party here, ladies and gentlemen, and you're welcome at home, and thank you for joining us. The whole idea of this little party tonight is simply a crowd of people who are in the habit of getting together and singing songs, and we know that everybody can do that. People often say, oh, it's all right for you in show business, you used to sing in duets, you know how it's done. But you think about it now, one of the first things you ever learned to do in your life 
is to sing a duet. It's true. Think back to your very early childhood now when you were all nappies and dribbles, <laughs> and you're sitting on your mommy's knee, and she looks into your eyes, and she is convinced, as all moms are, that somewhere inside that little bald head, there's a budding Cliff Richard or Shirley Temple, and she's going to make sure that if it's in there, it's going to come out. So you start your first duet. She looks at you and she goes, twinkle, twinkle, little. <laughs> See? She w nods her head and wills you into show business. And what can you do? I mean, what with her giving you free food and digs and everything? You haven't, you haven't got the heart to resist, you see? So you do, don't you? You go, twinkle, twinkle, little. <laughs> see? And for that, you get a standing ovation and a hug and a kiss from your mom as if you'd sung an opera at a gallery. And, you, and that's, to show business people, of course, that's like sugar lumps to a horse. You can't wait for the second line. Now you're hooked. So she goes, how I wonder what you are. See, you got it. Then that's it. You're hooked for life then. You go on, you go to school, and you join the choir, you stand in neat little rows, and you learn to do the thing properly, don't you? Then later on, you join maybe the Cubs or the Brownies, and you get into the more sophisticated kind of songs like Ging Gang, Gooly 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 Gooly. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, from a very early age, you know, I loved singing with people. I do now when I do my shows. I consider it a great pleasure always singing with different people. And it was at that age I started a little vocal group. When I was about nine years of age, I think I had a vocal group. And we weren't bad at all. And that's when I got to admire the real experts, people like the Mills Brothers. Do you remember the Mills Brothers? Yes. You do. Well, just in case you don't, I'll tell you what, I'm going to join my friends here, and we'll try and give you an idea of what they used to sound like, OK? I'll start in A flat, isn't it? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Now you hear scandal every day You hear her say that she heard him say But I don't think it's true But she don't know, she only heard And that's the way that I got the word But on the quiet between me and you Yes, I heard, though it wasn't told to me, I only heard. Oh, I heard, yes, I heard, though it wasn't bust to me, I only heard. Now he said that she said that she didn't know where she got it. Then he said that she said that the law was gonna stop it. Oh, I heard, yes, I heard, though it wasn't told to me, I only heard. Oh, I heard, why did you hear you? Yes, I heard. Though it wasn't told to me, I only heard. Well, I tell you, boys, I heard. Uh-huh. Well, I heard. What did you hear? Though it wasn't buzz to me, I only heard. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. He said that she said that she didn't know where she got it. Yeah, and she said that he said that the law was going to stop it. Oh, I heard. Yes, I heard. Though it wasn't told to me, I only heard. You ain't heard nothing, fellas. I was doing my Christmas shopping, and I heard him telling him the same thing she heard yesterday. Can you dig that man? Extraordinary. Now, maybe she's lying, because I heard him say she ain't hearing so well lately. Makes no sense at all to me, boys. And another thing, he said that she said that she didn't know where to buy it. And if it ever gets out again, boys, there'll be a terrible, terrible riot. Oh, I heard. Yep, straight from the horse's mouth. Yes, yes we, we heard. heard. Well, it wasn't told to me, boys. I only heard it. Well, now, I heard. I don't believe you heard that. I most certainly did. Are you did. sure? Now, it wasn't buzz to me. I only heard. Don't you believe it? Because I heard. Nope. Yes, I heard. I heard it first. Though it wasn't buzz to me, I only heard. Now, listen. He said. That she said. That she didn't know where she got it. Mm -hmm. And he said. That she said. Yeah. That the law was going to stop it. Oh, oh we heard. Well, yes, we heard. Well, well, Though it wasn't told to us, we only heard. Oh, we heard I'm going. Wait till I tell one. I've heard enough gossip for today, folks. You ain't only heard. Catch you later, fellas. Yes, we I heard, heard it's Christmas drinking time. Though it wasn't told to us, we only heard. Oh, we heard. Yes, we heard. Though it wasn't told to us, 
we only heard. Yes, we heard. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for a little song that was from, I think, the late 20s sometime, recorded, as I mentioned, by Mr. and Mrs. Mills for little boys. Our friends here tonight are not related in any way. I mean, their mother and father are not called Mr. and Mrs. Wall Street Crash. When sang. <laughs> but never, I don't know if it makes any difference, actually, to be related when you sing. But if you'll just follow me over here, I can find out from an authority on the subject, or five authorities on the subject. Tell me, girls. I mean, quite apart from your work now, do you know, rehearsing numbers for television now, do you actually sing, be honest now, do you sing for fun at all? Yes, yes. of course yes. we do, all you the do. time. I mean, we've been singing at home for as long as any of us can remember. Really? Yeah. Over yeah. Christmas? I mean, will you sing together over Christmas oh. just for... Oh, definitely, yes. All our aunts and uncles will be there, we'll have a great party, that's what oh, you do. How many, how many relatives have you got? Oh, oh millions. <laughs> millions? <laughs> well, it, it seems like millions if you make a tea for them all. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the lovely things about having the Nolans on the show is, I've worked it out, I think that our combined relations, our families, will guarantee me a, a good four million viewers to, to, <laughs> to, to, start, to start off with. Did you know, by the way, girls, that I was making music with your family before you were? No. Well, that. we heard a rumour about that a long time ago, Did but you? we didn't Did like you? to say anything. Well, quite apart from working with your dad, Manita. Oh. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at this. Look. Oh, it's my Auntie Doreen. Where was that's, that? Aunt, that's your Auntie Doreen there. Yeah, she's gone. And that was me. Oh. In, <laughs> in, with the spot. Have a look at the spots. That was me, 1949. I did a radio series with your, well, with your Auntie Dory. 17 years before I was born. Oh. How old were you? How old was I? <laughs> Dear. You'll wash out your mouth with soap. Stand over there and do your party, please. Oh, Come along. Okay. Go on. Stand over there. There's not... Don't, don't spill any wine on the floor, now. That's it. There's not a lot I need to say just to give them a chance to get into their working positions, as again, sitting on the couch, and say, ladies and gentlemen, the Nolans. Thank you. It's Prezi time for me, that's why I stopped them. Listen, we were supposed to have Sky on the show. We got two so far. Where are the other fellas? Oh, they just turned up. They went to the wrong place. They went to the wrong place. The Albert Hall. Yeah. They went to the Albert Hall, <laughs> did they? Good. How am I doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, you know, this is the seventh time that you lads have been on the show no. over the years. It is, yes, honestly. Right. It's been well, good fun. Over the years, you've been a good sport, good fun, and we bought you a proper Prezi. You have. Ready? Yes, but yeah. you've got to open it now. i got to open it. Come on, mate. Oh. And you've got to blow it now. Oh, right, right, right. right, I've always wanted to do it. Right, there, there's your end. What do I do? Well, you put your mouth there and you go like, oomph, and then ah. Oomph, ah, oomph, ah. Stick it up your jumper. There we go.
Thank you. Thank you, Sky. Well, there's going to be a bit of cleaning up and hoovering going on down there for a few minutes, so I just thought I'd pop up here and wish you all a happy Christmas from my old perch. I haven't been up here for years, and you're still here. <laughs> He said, we'll wait for him, no matter how long it takes. We've been talking tonight about joining in and singing songs together, you know, in, in the show. And somebody said to me a while ago, we were talking about this, and they said that today's songs, for some reason, are not as kind of join-inable as the old songs. Now, so, I'll just try it. Suppose now I was by George. <laughs> <laughs> well, old all, all, all man George, we said, well, and I would say, if I started to sing Karma Chameleon. Now, would you know the words of it? Yes. Who said that? <laughs> Whereas if I started to sing You Made Me Love You, would you know the words of that? Yes. Well, we got the hooligans at the back now. You'll have, you have to excuse them. You know, but it's good. but on, on one of my shows uh, earlier on this year, I sang a little song, and I can't remember ever having so many letters asking for a song to be repeated. Now, this song, I've checked it up, was written, I think, in 19... 18. It's a very, very old song, and I'll sing it for you. And just in case you might be a little bit self-conscious about joining in, we'll keep the lights right down, so you can sing quietly, all right? There's a little brown road winding over the hill To a little white cot by the sea there's a little green gate at whose trellis I wait While two eyes of blue come smiling through at me There's a gray lock or two in the brown of the hair. There's some silver in mine, too, I see. But through all the long years, when the clouds brought their tears, those two eyes of blue kept smiling. And if ever I'm left in this world all alone, I shall wait for my call patiently. And if heaven I shall wake there to find those two eyes of blue still smiling through at me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've always felt I've always felt myself that this this joining in thing, you know, is a bit like the people that is joining. It's always a bit like a bit like my lawnmower. You know, it's a bit difficult to get it started. But but once it's warmed up, then there's no stopping it at all. I bet you're warmed up now. Yeah. I bet you are. Yeah. Here we go. Come on. La 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 Go on. La 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 Try a different one. Here we go. Catch your fallen star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. Catch your falling star and put it in your pocket. Save it for a rainy day. Do me, do me. Happy 
on the shoulder Some saw the snide And just in case it feels he's got a hold You have a pocket full of stars I'm catching for the star And put it in your pocket Never let it fade away Catching for the star And put it in your pocket Save it for a rainy day For love may come And tap you on the shoulder Some star that's nice And just in case it feels He's got a hold you You have a pocket full of starlight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, while all that lovely singing was going on there at the bar, there was another sound that many of you probably didn't hear, and that was just out the back in our private airfield. There was the sound of an executive jet arriving from Dallas, because our special guest tonight has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Howard Keel. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Oh. Merry Christmas, please. Oh, wonderful, and a Thank Merry you, Christmas. Bro. Merry Christmas. And the well, same to you. They've, they've shown know. you the Merry Christmas. Or two. Yeah. Now, before we go any further, I'd just like to mention, that is a track from an album that Harold has just done, which comes out over here in February. I've heard the whole yes. album, and it's beautiful. Now, I cannot believe, Harold, that that is the first album you've ever made. It is quite remarkable. Well, I've been rehearsing for a long time. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of a late bloomer. But, I mean, is, <laughs> is it because early, in the early days you were mainly doing films and theatre that you weren't sort of into yes. some albums, so you were doing soundtracks of films and things? Well, yeah, really. yeah, and uh, this time just to do something by myself is really a thrill. It's really lovely. Yeah. It's lo and it's a lovely album. Thank I know you. everybody will look forward to it. Thank now, you. we've been talking right through the show about singing together. When did it all start for you, singing or singing? Oh, I started right at the bottom, Bell. You know, and on Thursday nights when I was a wee lad, my mother would take me by the ear and she'd yank me down to the Methodist church. <laughs> and I'd go in for prayer meeting, you see. Uh, but I loved it because I could hear the old guy who sang bass and he'd go, boom, boom, ba boom, 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 boom. And it was so great. You know, I oh. fell in love with a bass and I've been a bass ever since. Lovely. Yeah, and your great. bass wasn't too bad tonight either. Oh, I'll tell you. That's, listen, that's, what? Oh, that duet was something. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, the, 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 over the Christmas now, our ladies are going to be very busy cooking while yeah. we sit and have a drink. True, and true. You do all the hard work and we the sit ladies around do all get sloshed. So, I, will you join me and all the gentlemen out there, if you would join me now in singing a little toast to our ladies. All right. Here's to my lady. Here's a toast to my lady. And all that my lady means to me. Like a horse in the winter, a breeze in the summer, a spring to remember is she. Yes, she may be the reason I survive, the why and wherefore I'm alive, the one I stand by through the rough and ready me, I'll take her laughter and her tears and make them all my souvenirs. For where she is, I have to be. The meaning of my life is she. Is she, is she. she fills up my senses like a night in the forest. Like the mountains in springtime, like a walk in the rain, like a storm in the desert, like the sleepy blue ocean. She fills up my senses, come fill me again. As soft and as pink as a nursery stood up flitting. I'll be sitting where will you be next to her, and she'll purr like a kitten. A doll I can carry. The girl that I marry must be. Maybe I didn't love you quite as good as I should have. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Little things I should have said and done I just never took the time But you were always on my mind You were always on my mind You were always on my mind And yes, I know How lonely life can be The shadow Be free, for I won't let the evening get me down. That's the way to go. Now that she's around me, bless your beautiful.
troubled kind, wherever you may be. We well, ain't met yet, but I'm willing to bet you're the gal for me. Oh, pretty and trim, but not too slim. Heavenly eyes, just the right size, simple and sweet. Oh, sassy as can be. Bless your beautiful hide. Yes, you're the gal for me. Yes, here's to my lady. Here's a toast to my lady and all that my lady brings to me and be it sunshine or shady is my love to my lady i pray Thank you. Thank you, Hart. What a lovely man to invite to a party. If you have any parties at Christmas, he said he's available, he'd come along. He'd be delighted to see you. Just before I give you my final toast this evening, I would like to ask you to join me for just a few moments in reminding ourselves of the many young people all over the world this Christmas whose festivities will be very, very different to ours. I sing Noel for children, all the little children who have no Christmas tree. I sing Noel, 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 for little girls who have no pretty dress to wear, little boys who have no teddy bear. I sing Sing Noel for children, all the little children who'll cry on Christmas Eve. I sing Noel, Noel, Noel for little girls whose hands are trembling in the cold, little boys whose eyes are too soon old. Turn his tender face to view And may he help us all To make this world a better place for you Let's all sing Noel and ring the bells of Christmas for all those little children, wherever they may be.
Well, this little party of ours, I think, is going to go on for quite a bit yet, and I feel quite sure you've got parties of your own. So there's not a lot for me to say except one final thing. I wish you a Merry Christmas, wish you a Merry Christmas, wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings I bring to you and you too. And wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I bring you good cheer and I'll see you next I year. So. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I've made a Christmas pudding, oh, but I've made the Christmas pudding. Now we've got five Christmas puddings, well, we'll keep till next year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah. It's goodbye from him, and it's goodbye from them. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.